South Africa now where invasive trees are being cut down in Cape Town so as to protect the city's water reservoirs. The trees utilize more water than native species. That's why in 2018, when the city was faced with the danger of running out of water due to a prolonged drought, it, pulled, it put a plan in place to tackle their invasive problem. Now Cape Town is finally saving billions of liters of water as a result of this intervention. Here is CGTN's Travis Andrews. The Greater Cape Town Water Fund was established to tackle a growing problem, that of invasive and thirsty tree species that were competing with indigenous ones for the city's water resources. The fund, which has a lifespan of 30 years, was tasked with tackling invaders such as pine trees, which have deep roots and thus consume a lot of water. Now the pine trees, along with other invasive species, are being cleared to reduce the pressure they put on the city's water reservoirs. We've cleared 20,000 hectares and uh, we calculated, although it's still early days, uh, but the, uh, we calculated that we, uh, by clearing the 20,000 hectares, we have reclaimed the water losses of 9 billion liters. And as we maintain those areas clear of invasive trees, um, the water benefits will be uh, for every year. The fund is aiming to clear around 54,500 hectares in the first six years. And some of the work is concentrated around the city's dams. Climate change and invasive trees pose a real danger to Cape Town. And the threat of day zero is still fresh in many people's minds. Climate change is with us. And uh, we experienced the, the, the effect of climate change in a very harsh way in 2018 when Cape Town almost ran out of water. And by clearing the invasive trees in the catchments, restoring the catchments, we can reclaim two months water for Cape Town. That is expected award of any potential day zero scenario again by a further two months and is part of Cape Town's broader water plan. The city of Cape Town, who is the biggest water user, using 61% of the water in the system, contributed um, $4.3 million over three years. And this is the first municipality in South Africa that's investing in water security outside its, its boundaries. The removal of the invasive trees has been a challenging process because some of it is located high up in the mountains where the crews have to camp for up to two weeks at a time while on a clearing mission. These clearing missions are considered to be so crucial in mitigating the combined effects of climate change and the presence of invasive trees that plans are underway to expand the program to the broader Western Cape region. Governor Andrews, CGTN, Cape Town.